And when we come back, a local hero and his new unique take on porta potties. Can we say porta potties? Is that name trademark? We'll be right back. This next story warms my heart. Local entrepreneur John Williamson has a new take on life, and he's he's discovered a way to bring joy to others. So at a lot of the local uh, festivals, like the Flower Festival and the, even the County Fair, Mr. Williamson has made it a habit to hide in the porta potties. And these porta potties are they're, they're, the lines are sometimes uh, several yards long on these hot summer days. And he will hide in the porta potty, of course, not locking it. And uh, thank you for coming today, John. It's my pleasure. And, and so this is wonderful, John. Uh, so tell the tell. Tell our audience a little bit about uh, who you are and, and what this is all about. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. So, what I like to do is—is uh, is this okay? Is this? Can I put my water here? Yes, that's fine, sir. But please go on. Yeah. So, a long time ago, I would go to festivals uh, and just people watch and like the people watch, and I would see such sad faces. It, it, it really, these festivals, like the like you mentioned, the Flower Festival, and also the state, or pardon me, the county fair, really uh, should be associated with like pure joy, pure happiness. And so, what I wanted to do is realign our community with uh, happiness. And, and so I came up with what I what I hope what I thought and I still think is kind of a unique uh, solution to that. Okay, and so the solution is just wonderful. I, first I've ever heard of it. First I've ever seen of anything like this. Uh, I think you could really uh, hate to reduce it to a financial uh, perimeter, but I think you could really take this to the bank. But but I, I do think we should focus, and our audience should focus on the reason that Mr. Williamson, the reason that and may I call you John? Uh, sure, that yeah, you can call me John. The reason that John does this is 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 to bring joy. That's his that's his main reason. Okay, so so please, if if you could, John, uh, uh, walk us through or give us some specifics on on how you bring joy to to folks in our in our community in our in our lovely community. Yeah, thank you. Is that okay if I put my water here? Yes, of course. You could sit it there. It's a, a table for your convenience. Now, what I like to do is 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 really find a section of you know the the portable toilets. Uh, can we say porta potties? Uh, with a portable toilets, usually they're green or blue. Uh, they're, they're kind of this uh, this, this, this uh, exterior grade uh, plastic synthetic material. They keep you know. Uh, anyway, I I, uh, I get there real early, um, you know, before before the crowds really start pouring in, and, and I'll just kind of hide in, in the porta potty, and of course I won't. I won't lock it because see if I if I lock the door then, then I, nobody will come in. So I, I kind of I have a thin frame. I'm I'm five four and so so it's a little bit easier and, and I weigh uh, you know right at a hundred pounds. So so you're at the century mark as they say. Yeah yeah I guess so. And and and, and I'll just kind of tuck my body to the side, uh, groin, torso, you know everything and and and, and really uh, kind of blend in and, and we'll paint my uh you know paint my body uh green uh, so so i've invested in some paint and i've gotten better as time's going on to to blend in even more so i'll camouflage myself against the wall the interior wall of the porta potty but yeah you were telling us one time you had a little trouble i think that's where you're going yeah yeah so so for one of our festivals uh recently uh, the uh the sandsbury uh craft show i i had painted myself uh green only to discover that the portable potties that were uh, contracted uh, for were, uh, you know, this beautiful blue. So it didn't go too well for me that day, litigiously or even religiously. <laughs> so so you, you, it pays to do your research, folks. Uh, even even famed John Williamson here will tell you that. Uh, but go on, please. Yeah, so anyway, uh, that, that uh, notwithstanding... Uh, in a couple of other days, notwithstanding, uh, uh, what happens if everything is is ruled a success by me? Is is so I camouflage my body and I'll wear uh, a pair of pants or some shorts and uh, you know a shirt, both both green. They have to be green. Green socks. If I wear jewelry, you know, green necklace, green earrings. You know, even the toothpaste I use in the morning to kind of help get me in the mood. You know, is green. Everything is green. I dye my hair green. I dye the eye, not just the hair on my scalp, but my eyebrow hair and beard. You know, if I've if I've grown out some stubble, I'll dye that. Uh, dye my teeth green uh, because uh, you know I'm going to be smiling. Uh, 
<laughs> we're going to get to that in a minute, correct? Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more. Uh, let's take a quick let's take a quick break here. We'll be right back with your focus on community. Okay, so we're back here on Community Focus. Uh, we have a Mr. John Waves here. It's lovely. I'm, I'm really enjoying this experience. Uh, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful man and what a unique talent you have. So, so we were just, you were just going into detail about you know, what exactly uh, it is that you do, uh, the joy, how you bring it, your unique, your unique method for introducing or reinstalling joy into these uh, festivals, which really uh, should be associated with pure joy. Yeah, well, I, I've heard it before that it's uh, an escape from reality. And in my life, uh, you know, ever since I've been, uh, well, little and continuing on into adulthood after I went through a really robust uh, puberty period was 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 to keep that intact and, and to honor that, almost that dogma that, uh, you know, reali- let's escape from reality, be it with... Uh, role-playing or uh, people watching or voyeurism you know all sorts of ways to to really to escape reality and, and so anyway uh I'll, I'll camouflage myself yeah we we're talking about uh with mr waves and how he, he camouflages his entire body he'll dye his teeth his hair and i even uh I even uh, dye uh, the groin area so so the testes uh you know the 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 uh, sexual reproductive work. I dye everything just in case, you know. So just in case uh, something else pops out, you want to be ready and, and maintain that. Well, you want to maintain you want to maintain your your invisibility in, in a way, correct, sir? Yeah, that's exactly correct. So so basically, it all gets down to this. Uh, uh, so a person will come in, porta potty, say a you know a mom or or a, or a dad, a you know, college student, really, really doesn't matter as long as they're a person and, and they come in and they, and they go to do their business, which we all do. We're all animals. Uh, as long as we have torsos, then we're considered mammals. A little, little science for everybody. Uh, but as soon as they get into the uh, stall and lock the door, that, that's that's my cue to pop out. And, and it's something I've trademarked, uh, um, patent pending. Well, I feel uh, I'm a little starstruck. So we have a, a person here who's actually uh, has a patent on his idea. Wow, that's great! I, I, uh, I, I feel uh, humbled to be in your presence. What a what a wonderful man! Go on, please. Right. Oh, thank you. No problem at all. So, so, I, so as soon as they lock the door and uh, either sit down or, or uh, position their body to to uh, you know to. To, pa- to pass their uh, expendables, uh, so so we're talking number one or number two. Yeah, and sometimes number three. Oh, number three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we can talk. Yeah, well, so I jump out, uh, and then they haven't seen me to this point, and uh, and then it's called trademark. I've, I've, I call it ambush tickling, and then, so I'll immediately begin tickling the person, and uh, you know, trying to bring joy back to their face because who doesn't smile and laugh and giggle when they're tickled and and so uh the responses have been wonderful and i actually am really trying to start doing this full time so you stopped uh your full i understand your full-time position was a delivery truck a bread truck driver is that correct yeah so i delivered uh bread get up real early uh, when they bake the bread and and just drive it out to the grocery stores. That way I can avoid people. I see, I see. Well, go on, sir. Go on, Mr. Wilson, or, or should I say John? Yeah, you can call me John, that's fine. So I like to uh, jump out and ambush tickle. And in my tickle sessions, uh, I like to call sessions uh, almost like a therapist. Uh, uh, I, I'll tickle, you know, quite aggressively, quite physically, uh, as best I can, uh, for, for usually an average of like a minute, two minutes, so about 120 seconds. And without fail, when that person leaves, they are going to have a smile on their face in my mind. Okay, John, hate to cut you off, my friend. What a lovely experience. We're okay. I told we got to go to commercial. Uh, we just, we just got enough time in to fit your explanation. I hope you have a wonderful day, sir. Well, thank you very much for having me and you as well. Okay, take care. We'll see you tomorrow.